Hi, Flosstube. Greetings. I'm Laura. Hi, Joe. Welcome to the Silverback Farm. Uh, yeah. Welcome back to all of our returning subscribers. Hey, y'all, all you new people. Please, like, subscribe to me down there. You know the drill. It's YouTube. <laughs> this here is the place we talk about cross stitch. That's what Flosstube is. Huge. Today is Monday, March 750th, I swear. No, really, it's May 11th. I just... It won't get warm here. It won't stay warm here. I'm over it. It's cold. We have a bug going around. You might have heard about it. Pandemic going around. I'm over it all. I'm over it all. It was a crappy weekend here in Ohio. The weather stunk. It was Mother's Day yesterday. If you celebrate, I hope you had a wonderful time. If you loathe and hate the day like I do, I hope you survived. I don't know what he's doing over there. Um, I have all but one piece of paper that he tied to. I, I, I'm stalling because I think there might be a dog quake. Because she's doing the Greyhound lean on Mama. Yeah, well, she's going to have a dog quake. She's going to have a... I'm here, love, and pet me, and I have awesome quake. Yes. Don't worry, she will wait until you are done. Then she'll get you. Yes. Alright, well, well, who do we get love from this week? People written on a piece of paper, apparently. <laughs> Bridget, Lynn, Glenna, who's your apple? Bridget, Victoria, and Squeak. Squeak, squeak, squeak. And Squeak loves her nickname. Okay. You're such a weirdo. I never claimed to be a normal love. Yeah, because I don't like normal. It's weird. Who does normal? Washing machines? <laughs> the dog is right there. All right, well, let's move on to whips. Whips! Do you have a leak? And a finish. I figured. It's you. I actually got work done. My bug came back. Yesterday. Finally came home. I swear the dang thing went to, Las, went to Las Vegas and got stuck somewhere. It got quarantined. <laughs> this is Hyrule Light World Map from Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. It is on Lake Effect Morning, hand by hand by, by Slovak Farm, Lake Effect Morning, 18 count. That might actually be Cleveland Current, I think. No, you told me it was Lake Effect Morning. I think I used the wrong guy. I got this shading done down here, and then stuff up in here. I'm literally doing like three shades of gray left. Yeah, it is. I'm doing the confetti to fill in the, the shading. Up in here. And here, and here, and here, and here, and here, and here, 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 here. Hopefully by next week I'll be done the shading and actually back to, uh, hopefully I can get to the part where I'm starting to make the, uh, the forest. I don't think it's called the Force of Time yet. I definitely have it for Carrie Force. I think we'll look that up. Okay, well. Ugh, moving along. <clears throat> we celebrated May Day last week in Daily 30. Um, There's only one, day, one holiday in May you need to worry about. You saw some of my Mayday projects last week. 
because I started. I got started. Anyways. Continuing on with Mayday, we had to stitch on something that we've done some reverse stitching on. Lots of reverse stitching on this. Isn't there that frogging? Yes, there should be more reverse stitching on it, but at this point... Is reverse stitching it. the politically correct way of saying frogging? Sure. This is... I actually don't know. No, it's just the way she said it because of the way it works with the prompt. Oh, yay. This nope. is the blue gray Ada that came with the kit. It's a 14 count. This was a Jamline kit that you can't get anymore. And I did, how much did I do? I did 205 stitches. Um, the blue in the foot, and then over in here. The whole thing is not right. This section, it, it's, it's shifted wrong. Because I'm done with it, you know, I'm gonna know. Boom. Bam. By the next one, if you're wanting to bing. That was your line. Oh, bing, bang, boom. Boom, bam, bing. Okay. We had to stitch on something that we could connect to someone special. And I started Raven Queen for my friend Bridget. It's birthday, so she's someone special. She started um, Snow Queen by Mirabilia. This is on... 32 count Cleveland crud. So I think that's Cleveland crud because it looks like this. Am I holding? No, I got her upside down. I did 200 stitches on her, bringing this side of her down. Um, does it say something about a woman about the dress where you have it upside down? It still looks like legs. That's what you call a low-cut dress. Mm-hmm. Or weird accents on the shoulders. Mm-hmm. Either way. It's got a very weird collar, which is charted in... I don't know. Not what you're using? No, it's actually charted in gray, so I could do it in gray. I may do it in reds. I think I'm going to wait and see how I feel. I think you should do it in crimson. I'm trying to... Work out my reds. I don't know what I did with the bag for this, so it's going to sit on my lap for a minute. I'm trying to work out my reds for it. You do. Oh. You're doing crimson? Yes, crimson's red. No, but it's a certain type of red. I think it would be epic. Hello, drama queen. Moving on. Our dog's being a drama queen. Um, we had to stitch with a variegated... Floss. We know that I am doing plant happiness in this crazy color variegation. My pretty, pretty variegation. <laughs> hey, honey. What? You do realize that your version of crazy is most people's version of impossible? I did this flower, this flower, this leaf, and that flower. That was 208 and a quarter stitches. Ooh, the lighting just got really weird. We're not yeah. using our, our computer. Computers. My computer had a moment. Uh. And we can't use the computer at the moment to film, so we're filming on my phone. And the way the sun just came out, the lighting kind of got weird. And the cat is meowing and the dog is trying to figure out what's going on. So, that was 208 and a quarter stitches. And then, yeah, that finished Maypole week. That finished Maypole week. So then I started stitching on flower, Mayflowers. And I went to town on my Mayflowers. I did. I went to town. Okay, brief pause. We're back. 
Oh, brief for you. Brief for you. So I went in, so I finished my Maypole Week prompt like Wednesday because Cheryl was very nice to us, very nice and loving to us last week and this week, and prompts are only, I'm just dropping everything. We only need 200 stitches for prompts with it being mania so that folks participating in mania don't have to do quite as much craziness. I'm not doing mania. I'm doing mirror mania, which is stitching as much as possible on my main mirrors. But, so, I, so we're making flowers for our mo monthly. All that to tell you we're making flowers for our monthly. And I started making flowers for the monthly, like, Wednesday. Actually, I did flower on Tuesday, too. Anyways. Um, so... I have five of my flowers done. Lady of the Flag was my fifth flower. Spoiler alert, finishes came with the flower with the other flowers. I did five hundred and nine stitches. And you'll only see part of them because the green. And then let me unhook. Let me unhook. and roll her a bit and then I put the beads around her head can't really see them all that great on camera you just don't want to show up so 509 stitches with beads in green she is stitched on 32 count hand dyed by the Slovak farm for your thoughts um, I may bust her out. Oh no, I'm, I'm using her for a prompt this week. I may bust her out for flowers. Hey, I found Raven Queen's bag. I'm a mess today, y'all. Okay, so that brings us to finishes. Since I'm cutting out the other part, because I felt dumb. Anyways. Um, I never started my Mar my April ornament, so for flower three and part of flower four, I started and finished my big toe designs, glory to God, from the Just Cross Stitch 2019 ornament issue. I had a bit of an issue with this because I pulled it out. I said, that's all, that'll be easy. It's like four colors. It's not like four colors. It's like six. Because there's three colors in the words, glory to God in the highest. Did you just variegate that stuff and it call it even? Not quite. I pulled silks from my Silks for You Silk of the Months. And I ended up just doing two colors in the words. So, in the chart, Glory and The are Gassed Apple Cider. To and In are Gassed Cider Mill Brown. And God and the Highest are Wood Smoke. So, Cider Mill Brown and Apple Cider are very brown browns. And Wood Smoke had some... Her Wood Smoke had some goldish tones to it. My Wood Smoke does not. So I ended up doing silks from one of my silks of the month pack for those. And I did everything. I did God in a gold color. Then the other words in the brown. Um, the flowers on the bottom. This flower and that flower were supposed to be in apple cider. Because of the brown I picked for the words, they looked better in the red. The green is the only thing. It's a um, Victorian mono cotton and dried celery. I like it the way it is, so I don't care. So that was flower. This is done on a hand dyed by the Slovak farm, 28 count. I think this is Cleveland fog. That's why I'm pretty sure Joe's is actually like effect. 
or Cleveland Crowd. I don't know anymore. No, this is like effect warning. Anyways. You'd think I would know what I'm doing. So, one flower was 517 stitches. The other flower was 163 stitches. Start to finish. I did... Math that for me. What is 517 it? 517 plus 163. What's my calculator? 7 and 3 is 10. 6 and 1 is 7 plus 1 is 8. What are the numbers? 5 and 1 is 6. 680 stitches total. And now, flower two, flower, the rest of flower, and the rest of flower four, I did. I gotta finish. Yes, yes indeed, right for singing is finished. Woohoo! Yay! I do not know the total stitch count on right for singing because... <laughs> I started it before I was counting stitches. Bride for singing is stitched on a piece of 14 count pink champagne Ada from Silk Weavers. And it is done. There's mistakes and I don't care. Then why bring them up? It is done. Let us just look at this beautiful thing. Next step, framing. I have a frame for it. Um, I need to get mat for it. I need to get matting for it. But it is done. Hallelujah. 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 Praise Jesus the Lord. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm so happy to have it done. That is another 2020 goal. Check. I'm so excited. That's all we got. That's been the stitching this week. Oh. I also used Ride Forth Singing for a lot. I would have figured this out when we went to plans, but I also used Ride Forth Singing for um, one of my prompts for this week for a sunny, for a sunny day. That's whips, that's finishes, no haul this week, so plans. Plans. You got plans? Not stitcher related. I gotta fix a gate. I gotta finish a gate and try to get a dog and a cat to get in the same room. We're working on it. Oh, I'm done being nice. Oh, snap. Well, in Daily 30, and I didn't say this when I was doing my whips, Daily 30 is a closed group. It's a closed challenge group. You can't get in unless she has openings. If she has openings, we'll let you know. All right. Plans. It's a mystery week at Daily 30. Dun, dun, dun. I think I'm going to have to leave. <laughs> yeah, they went for cheesy. Um, with, uh, They uh, went to um, Wisconsin. Levels of cheesy, okay? We're talking, like, okay, so, the, like... Any Doctor Who fans, it's the River Song book from the, uh, the Angels Man T Take Manhattan episode. It's very, like, 1940s, 1930s, 19, yeah, the 1920s Art Deco kind of mystery thing. That's the setup. 
It is probably one of my most favorite. It is it is my most favorite. I know. You had a week. lot of fun because I'm laying there about to go to sleep and Lauren starts reading them with this Cheshire Cat grin getting all into it. And as she finished each prompt, you know, because each prompt is a part of the story. So as she got to the end, you know, we got the dun, dun, dun. No, we got the and then dun, dun, dun. Yes. So our mystery starts off on a bright and sunshiny day. Poolside with some cabana boys. Ride for singing was my sunny day project because you go horseback riding on a nice sunny day. We have to stitch on some fruit because there's a fruity drink involved. Oh, by the way, you what? know it was a sunny day to ride for because it was raining. There wouldn't be a dust cloud behind it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I wish I could get my camera. <laughs> the dog had her nose like this on a cardboard. <laughs> That was that noise. That was funny. It wasn't a horse. That was our dog. <laughs> no. <laughs> so there's fruity drink involved. So we have to stitch on something. We have to stitch on something that has fruit on it. Sorry, Main Street has some apples on it, so we're gonna stitch on Main Street. Um, something gets spilled. I keep offering to help you with this problem. You keep me mugging me. So we have to stitch on something that we have possibly spilled, dropped, or got something on a pro on it that shouldn't have been on it. Um, because I finished my April puddles. Because I finished my April showers. This month's um, reward for finishing last month's month. So if you finish all of the monthly, you get a special reward for the following month. I've only used a couple of them because I haven't really felt it necessary to use them. What? Idea, by the way. Um, I think you spilled some pop on uh, the Tiffany's pattern more than once. It's got to be on the project. Um, Technically, the pattern is part of the project. So I don't have anything where I've still spilled. Now, that's not to say I don't have stuff that's been spilled on. No, it's just she's done all of those. I'm finished with all of those. You got the stains out. <laughs> I keep offering you know, it feels like twenty no, it feels like forty degrees warmer. Yeah, it's that cold out. If it was forty degrees warmer, I'd accidentally spill water on her on a stitch in her face. So I am using one of my roses for finishing my April showers last month. Our roses this month allow us to substitute a project that doesn't fulfill the prompt. So if we don't have a project that fulfills the prompt, normally we have to do alternative stitches. Our rose lets us not have to do those alternative stitches. So I'm going to do Lady... No. I'm doing Miss New Year's Fairy. I'm using my rose so I only have to do 200 stitches instead of 400. The alternative. <laughs> oh really I'm sorry somebody's being very entertaining we have to stitch on something that's made us cranky because there's some crank in our mystery I'm going to do Lady of the Flag because she has made me cranky and I'm still a little too cranky with Nativity Angel to work on her um yeah I'm, I believe the exact word was how did it take me two days to do 300 stitches? It literally took me two days to do, four, yeah, four, 200 stitches. And that is not the first time she said that. And I barely got those 200, I, I, I barely got those 200 stitches done in a 24 hour period. Because I was working on it while my clan was still in Myth and Magic Clan Wars. We got knocked out on Friday, last Friday, on Friday. It's a bummer, but we took some banshees out with us. We hit the banshees 
for almost 10k in damage. Basically, you couldn't do enough to heal yourself, so you decided to do a swan song with a bazooka. We would have, they, the banshees hit us, we would have survived it. The zombies were not supposed to hit us, and they hit us, and they didn't realize it. And we're like, you know what, it's fine. It's a game. We're not upset. Like, we get that y'all, y'all had an off script moment. We're going to hit the ban banshees. So, we ganged up on the, everybody ganged up on the banshees, and the banshees ended up having, taking 15,000 damage points. How many stitches would that have taken to fix? Um, a lot. <laughs> A major heal heals 850 damage points, and I think you have to do double that amount to earn the ingredients for the heal. So they needed 30,000 stitches, basically. Yeah, I think I, at one point I looked at their inventory. They had, so a crocodile spleen is 600 stitches. They had, I think, eight crocodile spleens, and they still needed like eight more. In order to be able to heal. So anyways. So. So the Eastern European did the Eastern European thing. That's my clan's decision. Uh huh. So. All that to say. Yeah. When I was working on Nativity Angel. It was. I, it was part of one of my stitch counts for. Myth and Magic. And you only have 24 hours from when you post your stitch starting point. I thought we were talking about Lady. No, we're talking about why I'm not doing nativity for uh, making me cranky. It took me 24 hours to do 200 stitches. I was talking at the time it took me cranky. two days to do like 500 stitches or more or longer on a... It was about a month ago I'm talking about. See, okay, so Lady of the Flag kind of makes me cranky because it takes a long time to do her stitches. But... It's like... Beating is kind of slow because you have to be a little bit meticulous. She has a decent mm -hmm. amount of color changes. and But all of her color changes kind of are... Some of the color changes in the Nativity Angel, I'm like, why are we changing a color here? We could easily do this without a color change. This one spot could be one color instead of three. And it probably would look just fine. So, yeah. Okay, and so our final prompt... Oh boy, that, that's kind of long-winded for this. Our final prompt, we have to stitch on something with an eye, with candy, beef, a cake, or man. <laughs> it's all part of the story. And Cabana Boys. There, it, there's a Cabana Boy reference in the last prompt, in the last bit of the story. And the story is to be continued into next week. So, next week's prompt. So, so our hunky cabana boys. Eye candy, beefcake, or dude? Guess I'm going to stitch on. Guess I'm going to stitch on. Santa House? There's a guy at the top. You are not wrong. <laughs> you are not wrong. <laughs> what are you going to stitch on? I'm going to stitch on Lord of the Rings. Because there's a guy on there. And no, there is a guy that she would not mind sitting there in a bathing suit next to her. Period. Their eyes are stitched on there. And there's a guy on there. And that man happens to be some beefcake eye candy for me. There you go. <laughs> And she says this directly next to her husband, people. I do. So that's all we have for this week. What do we want the people to do? Like, favorite, share, comment, subscribe, bump notification to give me Bobby. Let me share. What's the difference between the engage the people and talking with us? I got nothing. What is the craziest reason you've done a stitch? 
me the craziest reason you've stitched on something. There you go. Yeah, because I think, like, Dragons of Sumatra is probably mine. I With my... Like, that's a huge project for me. I was like, I like this. I'm just stitch it. Laura was like, you're what? I'm still under death threat if I don't finish it. The only reason I'm allowed to not finish that is if I die. Otherwise, I will die. Okay, honey. Ready? Okay, we're off. Bye. Bye.